Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 17th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. In this tutorial we're gonna continue our discussion on shell scripting and we're gonna create another shell script. And uh, this one is uh, probably gonna do more than uh, the previous one that we created. And uh, as I did in the previous tutorial, I'm gonna first save this uh, script file because that will enable uh, text highlighting or syntax highlighting in my text editor my editor will know that this is a script file and uh, I'll save it in my home folder and uh, I have called it ss2 because this is the sec second file that we made and I'll put a comment uh, this is my second script file there you go now I mentioned in the previous tutorial that in in shell scripts you can basically use all the commands that we have learned in this course thus far and uh, not only the commands that we've learned but a lot more commands um, and uh, you know the manner in which you use those commands is the same as the manner in which you use the commands individually at the terminal wherever you'll have to make uh, modifications I'll uh, tell you guys but you know if suppose you want to uh, see the directories or files in your current folder then what you can do is just type in ls in your script file and if you want uh, the long listing then you can put the option hyphen l and if suppose you also want to see the present working directory then you can put pwd or you know what maybe we can put pwd before using ls hyphen l that would make more sense and in the end suppose if you just want to see uh, some fancy t uh, text on screen using banner then you can uh, include banner as well and I'll just type in the end to mark the end of the script so that's it that's gonna be our second script file I'll save this one and it's in the home directory and uh, let me first clear the terminal for you and uh, you can see that the file is there it's called ss2.sh again and uh, I'll clear it again and I'll execute it using sh ss2.sh is my file name and when I press the enter key there you go the first uh, sentence in the output is, uh, you know, comes from the execution of pwd in my script file, and then from this line onwards, you have the output of ls hyphen l, and uh, then at the end you see the output from banner, and the end is uh, displayed using hashes. The order in which these commands got executed is the same as the order in which you specified them in your script file, and that will always be true, and. Uh, that's it this is uh, all I wanted to discuss with you guys in this one uh, thank you so much for watching and in the next tutorial we're gonna prepare another script file please ignore the dog and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, once again thank you for watching